one of the favorite things about being a podcast host is I get to play some with really cool new tools and meet some really interesting people. Today is a double whammy. Don't hang up that phone. We've found what you're looking for. Welcome to the Let's Talk Cabling Podcast with Chuck Bowser, RCDD. Well, seeing how we're pulling Category 6A, the most powerful twisted pair in the world, you got to ask yourself this one question. Did I pull 295 or 300 feet? Well, do you feel lucky? Do you punk? In this podcast, you'll learn the differences between a 66 and 110 punch tool, the proper way to install a support cable, along with testing and certifying the cable. What exactly does RCDD stand for? Registered Communications Distribution Designer. Just the expert, you need to ensure your cable plant performs exactly as designed. The elite professional, knowledgeable, and experienced in leading edge ICT design principles. So join us as we talk about the ever-changing world of telecommunications. From ISP to OSP, from copper to fiber, design to installation. Now, send the new guy to the truck for a bucket of dial tone and the cable stretchers while you listen to an informative program on telecommunications. Welcome to the show where we tackle the tough questions that are submitted by installers, project managers, estimators, IT personnel, and customers. On this show, we connect at the human level so that we can connect the world. If you're watching this on podcast on YouTube, would you mind hitting the subscribe button to be and the bell button to be notified when new content is being published? If you're listening to this on one of the podcast platforms such as iTunes or Google Play or even Amazon, won't you mind consider leaving us a five star rating? Those couple little steps help us take on the algorithm, which helps this information get out to more people in the ICT industry so we can educate, encourage, and enrich the lives of more people in our industry. Also, don't forget Thursday night, 6 p.m., LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook after hours live, where you get to ask your favorite RCDD, hmm, that would be me, your questions, and I get to answer them right there. I give preference to questions submitted in advance, so make sure you send those questions at questions at, at Let's Talk Cabling. Dot com. And if you miss the show, the recorded broadcast, I mean the live broadcast, they're recorded and put on our webpage at letstalkcabling.com for later consumption, where you can watch both the audio and or audio portions of today's show. So today, I get to interview the guy who created a pretty cool tool. I came across this uh, just floating around on the internet, and I always like finding out new tools. So I reached out to him and said, hey, would you mind sending me one of those so I can play with it? And he was gracious enough to send it to me. And then once we get done, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on a LinkedIn post and I'm going to give it to some lucky audience member. So today, I would like to welcome to the show, Boris Braun. How are you doing, Boris? How are you doing? Thanks for having me. My pleasure, my pleasure. So give us the two-minute elevator pitch. How did you get into the ICT industry? So basically... A few years ago, I was hired as a network technician for one of the local companies here on Nantucket Island in Massachusetts. And basically, I was a network uh, tech in AV and or basically, you know, a system integrator. And most of the time, my job would be to, you know, terminate a lot of uh, patch panels, build the network racks, AV racks, and, you know, all all the racks had in common a lot of cabling. So that was, you know, my main job. We did, you know, we were doing, we were working on a lot of retail and um, as well as the uh, commercial projects. And no matter where we would go, my job would be still the same. So I will, you know, jump right how I got the idea to come, you know, in, to invent the Antwist tool, basically, while working as a network tech, uh, I, you know, you come across, you know, there's a lot of tools for our industry, you know, that would help you to strip the wire. Then, you know, if you need to crimp, you know, RJ45, you would crimp it. Then, you know, keys for the keystones, there's uh, punch down tools. Nowadays, they came out with the combined punch down tools that would, you know, punch down the whole keystone at once. 
and so on and so on. But for the most part, the process preparing the wires before using any of the tools that I mentioned before was basically just by hand. Uh, being in the industry, talking with a lot of guys around me, older and younger, I came across with, you know, a lot of ways how to untwist a twisted pair wire from CAT5 all the way to CAT6A at the time. So it was process was the same. Someone would advise, you know, use the cabling jacket or a screwdriver or something, something. But, you know, basically on the end of the day, you would, you know, go home and your fingers would be sore. So if you don't mind, I would be probably, you know, mentioning that I was working on this project for a year and a half. I made 22 different versions. They're all here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it in the back. Yep. And uh, the 23rd version was the one that I can probably call the untwist tool. And uh, that's about it. Honestly, now, you know, I, I, I decided to you know, show it to the world almost a year ago on 15th of October. And it was you know, pretty interesting so far. It's, it's a great journey and, and I, I definitely want more people to know about it. And I definitely want you know, to help out as much as I can. So you, 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 you saw a problem, you lived through that problem you thought of a way to fix this problem. Do you have any kind of like a engineering background or are you just that smart? <laughs> no, uh, I actually have a bachelor uh, degree at it's automation, robotics and mechatronics. Okay. So I'm not working as a engineer at the moment, but um, I definitely have the background where, you know, <laughs> this would gotcha. be, yeah, this would fit right there. <laughs> And I'm glad you said that, you know, that you've been working on this for over a year, because most people, when they see someone who comes out with something pretty cool and is pretty successful and stuff like that, they automatically think, well, he's an overnight success. Well, they're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. They're not seeing, you know, the 80% that's underneath the water. I mean, you know, you're a perfect example of that you, you went through 22 versions before you found the one that you liked and, and works the way that you want. And, and I think that shows a testament to your tenacity to see something through and, and to fix it and stuff like that. So I got the one that you sent me and I, I will mention that I put this on, uh, on my LinkedIn post today as uh, name this tool and nobody is, is, is uh, named it yet, but we're going to change that. Um, That's good. Yeah. Glad. So let, let me ask you this before I ask you to demonstrate how it actually works. Let me ask you this. What is the material that this is made out of? So that is the um, MJF PA12 nylon. That's the uh, material that is being used uh, for 3D printing purposes. And it's uh, used with HP uh, industrial 3D printers. Those are huge units. And um, on our Instagram profile, there is um, one of the videos where you actually can see how the untwist tool is being made while it was printed. And uh, yeah, we are actually exploring different materials at the moment. I should probably mention that um, we are working on a newer version. And this is the first time that I'm saying this out loud because it's almost gonna be one year anniversary of the Untwist tool. And we are planning to announce the new version, which basically is similar, but it will, be more focused on a um, bigger cable where like 22 gauge cables and 23 solid copper wires made for the outdoor, mm -hmm. which, you know, they're the plastic around the copper is pretty thick. And um, my idea was always to make one tool that will solve the whole, all problems, but it's just impossible. After I came up with this uh, twist tool, so many manufacturers, um, reached out and sent samples and I tested that with a lot of uh, brands so far and you know we've noticed that there are some that are thicker than others some are using not you know even though they're rated as a, as a solid copper they don't use only copper so it's you know it's tough so and another we were listening to our customers 
so the new version that we are developing will have in eight grooves instead of six. That's what people requested. So we, we are happy to help. So eight grooves instead of um, six, it's gonna be slightly larger. The fins will be a little bit uh, shaped differently. So we will definitely make the use of the tool easier. Gotcha. So you're, it's, a, it's a living kind of thing. Always listen to customer feedback and any good manufacturer does that. I'm, I'm glad to hear that you do that because some people get so pigeon toed into that's it. it. That's the way it works. And you, it, yeah, it doesn't work for the, that 22 gauge and you just got to live with that. I'm glad to hear that you're looking to, to kind of solve those things. Now you said it is, this is made out of this, this the 3D uh, printing plastic stuff. What, what do you think is the life expectancy of this tool? I mean, do you think it's going to last yeah, because sometimes plastic wears out. I mean, do you expect this to last a, a year or two, 10 years, a lifetime? So honestly, that this tool uh, will last until you lose it. Like I've mm -hmm. been, like I said, I have the one that I'm testing almost, I don't know. I, I don't even know how many cables I, I, I uh, went through with that one. And the fins are still sharp. There was no chipping, nothing. Nice. So the, the PA-12 nylon is is um again i got lucky honestly like that there's a, a certain limitation with the 3d printing still it's a still you know developing industry and it's growing by day and you know there's so many new things that you can see every day but so far i just didn't find anything that was better than this gotcha again not to, cir to circle back on the um uh, if you know the standard plastic is AB, a, ABS, I would like to say, uh, that's usually when you have the products that are made by injection molding. That's the plastic that they mostly use. I might be wrong, but this from the, the info that I could find. And um, with ABS, you are not able to get the, um, the same result as the MJF. Gotcha. Now, what's do you know what the metal is that, that comes out of the back of this? What's that metal? Well, do you know? I'm not 100% sure, but it's some kind of steel. Gotcha. Yeah, it feels it's got a good hefty feel to it. I mean, it's it's got a good bit of weight to it. And yeah, I like it, that. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's magnetized. And so it will definitely, you know, when you use it with a, any kind of screwdriver. Now, now it will this stick. piece of metal is magnetized? Correct. I didn't know that. Let me, let me grab my let me grab my screwdriver and test that theory. It does have a little bit of a pull to it. The, um, I noticed when you sent that to me, you also sent this little coupler. Yes. Right. So yep. is that and, and and again, you're the expert with this. That's only the second time I've actually put this on there. It, what is this coupler used for? So basically, the the um, I would say the solo on twist tool is made for the precision screwdrivers. The socket for the precision screwdrivers is four millimeters, which is equivalent to five thirty seconds of an inch. Uh, the standard socket is quarter inch. I'll show you that. So the standard screwdriver socket, this is a quarter inch, and a like lot of people. Yep. Like that one. And a, yep. And a lot of people would uh, basically they would not be able to use the untwist tool with I, it. Yeah, try that. It's, so, it's just a little too big. Yeah. So. Yeah usually that that like the quarter inch um how do you say the quarter inch adapter would definitely fit into most screwdrivers so you would be able to use it with the regular screwdriver okay as well as as well as with the um, little precision screwdriver without the adapters gotcha so that's and and so basically i have here i don't know if you can see it but this is how it comes the, the version with the adapter that goes yep. for 34.99 comes with a little bag, has a sticker in, and twist tool and the adapter. The version with no adapter comes with a bag, sticker, and just the untwist tool, and it's $29.99. Okay, I, I know right. that you want me to uh, share the prices as well. I, I did, so I, I did, I did. So I, tr I, tried to, I tried to combine everything at, at once. Yeah, the, yeah, it makes sense, it really does. Um, now, if you don't mind, could you give us a demonstration on how to use this with your precision? Make sure you hold it close to the camera so we can see it. For sure. So uh, I'll demo it with this. Um, so this is the, um, I use the same, this is 23 uh, gauge cable CAT6. And let me know if I, for, if I go down or up, 
I, it's so hard to focus. So yeah, this is just a regular stripping tool that I like to use. Actually, I was testing with a thicker cable, so I have to adjust the blade so I don't cut the uh, wire inside. This is real live stuff. It shows you as it's happening. So basically, as you can see, there's a plastic separator inside. So what I would do usually, we would, you know, in real real life scenarios, when you're terminating, you will get rid of that plastic without cutting the other wires, obviously. So then now, usually people would uh, use their fingers to untwist the wires. Like I mentioned before, a lot of people advise to use the cabling jacket. But again, if you can see, I'm still using my fingers. And then on the end, I still have to make it straight. So the untwist tool, I will show you now the manual manual uh, screwdriver, right? Okay. So this is a little precision screwdriver that I got from Amazon. The brand is Tecton, and it's like, I think, $10. Comes with a couple of extra uh, bits. It's pretty cool. So basically, with a little bit of pressure and turning the untwist tool counterclockwise, you will get to untwist the wire, as you can see. At this point, you would use the grooves to straighten the wire like this. And as you can see, the wire is already straightened. And that'd so that's be perfect for doing like an RJ45 or an APHC, like a mod connector or something. Correct, exactly. So no matter what, if you're using the old school RJ45s or RJ45 EZs, the wire needs to be straight. Right. So the way how I like to use this tool is I have a electric screwdriver. I will talk about it a little later. That's one of the things that we also sell. And uh, basically there's a button on it, reverse, which will turn the untwist tool counterclockwise. I will hold this in my hand like I, like I normally hold the cable. And then you come on a little slight angle. And then the tool goes all, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the tool goes all the way down to the bottom. Right. Once the tool is in like this, I would use my finger to pinch in between the untwist tool head and the wire, and I would just pull back. So it's already untwisted. So I'm saving a step. Yeah, because if, if you use the jacket, like you, like you said, some people like to use to do, they like to use that jacket. You still got to pick up your screwdriver or your snips to, to flatten it out. Here, it's all one tool all exactly. right there. And if you're not happy how it looks, you can always use the grooves. And it's and as you can see, I'm not sure how good you can see this, but uh, maybe my head is on the way. But no, that's, yeah, it looks really good. I was wondering what those grooves are for on the tool, but now that now makes not make perfect sense. So that's that's how I like to use it. And again, uh, when I was working on the patch panels, and uh, if you know, the holy grail is that if you're using the keystones. You always want your twist to be as close as possible to the post, right? So even for these scenarios, you can use the untwist tool and definitely save your fingers and definitely speed up the process. While I was working on the patch panels, I will usually what I would do, I would work in, in, in stages. So that being said that I would use one tool for all the runs and then leave that tool aside. So if I'm working on 24 patch panel, I would position all my cables. I would mark where to strip them. I would use the stripping tool, strip them all at once, leave the tool aside and I don't touch that tool anymore. The next step would be the next stage would be the flush cuts. If the wire has a separator, it depends. If it's a cat 5e, sometimes it does come with that little string that you can rip but usually flush cuts would be the next step. Again, it depends on the brand of a cable, it depends on the brand of the keystone. For example, this keystone, I'm not sure what brand this is, uh, it's kept cable matters. So it has a green pair on the left and a blue on the, run, on, the, on the right, and then the orange is on the left where the green one is. So basically it looks like this, right? So I would hold the keystone I would hold basically the, the cable like this. And I would, I would do this for every single cable. Holding the cable like this 
and using the untwist tool. It's already untwisted. And look, after I release my fingers, you'll see the twist is still pretty right. up high. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but once I put it in the spot. I can see a real advantage here, Boris, if, especially if you're terminating, you know, a couple hundred jacks, because if you use the, the, the cable jacket method or, or the, any other methods, at the end of the day, your hands are just, oh, yeah. are just for sure. Tripping. Yeah. And as you can see, like even while using the untwist tool to untwist those wires, right? Because there's a big, big argument between the people who are untwisting the wires when they're doing the keystones and then the people who are not. The results are usually the same. Right. But if you look at my method, the twist is really close to the post, exactly the same as with the guys who are not untwisting the wire. Mm -hmm. So, and for me, honestly, like I mentioned before, it took me less than 24 minutes for 24 jacks to like start to right. finish once i had the cable stubbed out and marked right so okay. that was my personal you know challenge I, I had to do it just to demonstrate that you know i can do it faster and my hands are not sore All right so for the naysayers who talk about the untwist you know it, it you're allowed to untwist the, the conductors and you're allowed to untwist if, if memory serves me right uh, up to a half an inch for cat 5e e and 6 and a quarter of an inch for cat 6a and even if you unstrip the thing all the way down to the jacket as long as you take that jacket all the way up to the very back side of that connector you're well within that quarter of an inch i agree 100 percent. but again there's there's always naysayer yeah you're always going to get that you know always there's gonna always that. and 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 you know i just want to to help people to be honest every cable that i terminated I use the Linksys. I'm not sure that's one of Linksys T1000. I would say I might be wrong. It's a tester. You know, if the run is broken, you know, it's not because of the termination. It's somewhere someone pinched the wire through the construction mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. But you know, not not because when you use the untwist tool, you will mess up. You know what I can no. do. You know what I can do is I got the tool. I'm not going to do it right here live on the show because I, I, I tend to try to keep these shows about 20 to 30 minutes. But what I can do after this show, and I'll make a post about this, is I'll terminate two cables. One, I'll use the untwist tool. One, I'll just do the regular way. And then I'll test it with my AEM Test Pro. And we'll see nice. if there's a difference. And I guarantee you those test results will be almost identical to each other. Guarantee it. That would be great. I, yeah. I would love to see the results. I'm, yeah. I'm almost positive, you know, like, and then and again, I, I, studied you know a little more just because of the, of the <laughs> i wanted to basically prove that there's no difference and you know there's no even packet pocket a packet lost or anything like using the the all the the, the software that you can find right not that I'm, it's the same yeah i'll make a tiktok video over that and i'll, and I'll post it on tiktok and, and youtube shorts and wow that's, that's and, and awesome. we'll put that out there yeah, absolutely. So, and you know, you said that you, you already told me what the price was. So, if someone were to see one of these things, where would they go to buy it? So, there's at the moment two spots where you can buy this. There's the official on twistool.com website where you can get uh, version uh, 22, your, right? So, uh, original version for twenty nine ninety nine, uh, version with the adapter. Then there is a version that comes with the uh, uh, electric screwdriver called wow stick which is a really cool tool to have and then there's a version that comes with the wow stick uh, untwist tool and a really cool uh, bag so you can put everything in one spot and you can also use this bag for your rj 45s keystone and it's a oh, really nice. cool bag nice so that can be found on the untwisttool.com and uh techtoolsupply.com as well we have a facebook store we have an instagram store as well uh so we are growing <laughs> yeah yeah make sure you send me them links and i'll put it in the description on the, of the video so people can find it. so if you want to buy one just look in the description down below and those those uh those urls will be there um so let me ask you this how many of these units have you sold so far if you don't so, mind sharing it i don't mind we sold more than 
2,350. Wow. Wow. And you've been doing it for a year. It's actually the pre-order started on October 15th, 2020. And cool. Untwistool was announced for the first time on 15th of October, 2020, one month before the pre-orders. Mm -hmm. So I am planning to, uh, as a little teaser, show the new versions on the 15th of, of October as well. Gotcha. Um, so let me ask you this, are you working on any other nice, cool tools? So at the moment, we are focused on the new version that will, uh, you know, be for bigger, very bigger, bigger gauge cables. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that is done, our goal is to come up with a tool. Actually, you know, we have an idea and the prototype and all that uh, all in one tool. Oh, that cool. tool that will be uh, basically stripping the wire, crimping the wire, and untwisting the twisted pair wires as well. And it's going to be all in one. And um, that's the idea, honestly. So when you get all famous because you, you go on Shark Tank and you and you sell <laughs> this tool for a, a gazillion dollars, don't forget about the Let's Talk Cabling podcast who helped you get that message out there. I won't, honestly. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate everything. There are so many people who reached out and um, literally let's just, you know, Keep on twisting. <laughs> That's what I like to say. There you go. There you go. So anything else you want to share before we close out the podcast? The, the, uh, the only thing that I would definitely like to mention uh, is that the um, Untwist tool definitely can help you out in uh, if you're working in the cold areas, if you're installing the cameras or something, and, and you can use the Untwist tool with the gloves. And I did it. Works great. If you know you're working on a project where that requires because of COVID or whatnot, PP equipment and 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 so on, you can definitely, you know, untwist your wires and, and crimp, you know, RJ forty fives or whatever job they ask for. And then the um, again, if uh, if you're recovering from stroke, if you you know, or you're old like me. No, not really. But if you know, if your hand is is injured, and and you know, it's definitely it definitely saves it because you know, I I no matter how much I tried, every time for the next two days after the project right. would be done, I I couldn't even open the fist, and you know, it's just that it's definitely beneficial, and and it just there is a learning curve. It's you know, like every other tool, like the more you use it, you'll be better at it. Like there's you know, hammer is a simple tool, but you know, how many times you see someone use a hammer? And, and, slams, and slams the finger right away so yeah. you know you know I'm, I'm glad you kind of point that out um because one of the one of the one of the injuries i used to get all the time from terminating jacks yep. is i used to get this little notch right in my thumbnail from where you were pushing oh. down on the conductor all the time and it would literally yeah. like you and then of course that thing would snag on everything your gloves your pocket whatever and then you rip off your nail and it was never, never fun. And then and I, I wasn't really, I wasn't, I was only halfway joking. Um, not everybody's, you know, you know, 18, 19, 20 year old in this industry. We have people that have been in this industry for, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 years. And, and your dexterity does go. It, it absolutely for sure. goes. For sure. And I, and I could see if you're terminating a whole bunch of jacks and you've got that precision screwdriver with this thing. And by the way, because you mentioned about the 22 gauge stuff. I tried this on some cat 6a cable i have here at, at the studio and it was a 22 gauge cat 6a and it's it still undid it and i because i wanted to try i didn't, wasn't thinking about the conductor size i was thinking yeah. about the twist rates right because cat 6a is twisted so much tighter yeah and, it, and it, it, it didn't have any problems with it no it's this this guy so i'll show you this is the uh wire pad uh by snap av cat 6a 22 awg four pairs solid bear copper outdoor graded fifth so i am literally now you'll see it's like it, like the, my it doesn't even fit in my uh stripper <laughs> so as you can see it comes with this uh, jacket and there's some plastic around it and then if you look at the um this wire here right right how that thing is twisted all kinds of ways and like, for example, if yep. you compare it with this, yep, it's thicker. And so it's 
if you're using the the the, the untwist tool will untwist it but the way how i use it it's basically when you untwist it right it's it's the um see what i'm saying like it started it, it, it starts untwisting it but the the wire cannot go through that gotcha. and and it gets stuck so the process of untwisting is not you know it's the same thing like we didn't invent the, you know a wheel reinvent the wheel it's basically you know there's a centrifugal force a little bit of pressure that you have to you know find what suits you and the type of wire that you're using but it's just too thick and, and, and it gets stuck. Once it gets stuck, and if you keep on pressing, it's gonna start jamming it, and then you're gonna have you know extra work to do. Gotcha. So version 23 will will easily handle this. Actually, that's gonna be the version 24. The 23rd 24. one is this 22, and then the 23rd one is the other gotcha. one. And then there's gonna be a new one. And it will come in two, it will come in two sizes. Basically, it's gonna be for the smaller gauge wire and the bigger gauge wire. Very so cool. that's that's the idea and I, I definitely think that this could be used and not only in 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 uh when when you were working on the cat wire uh, one of the guys he is a locksmith so i'm not familiar that much with what kind of wires are they using and why but i know that when he was connecting something to something there was it's it's a wire two wires and he had to combine them basically he had to twist them together so it looks oh. cool right yeah so basically what he did instead of he was using the untwist tool he so pushed twisted. the wire so he twisted and he was pulling at the same time and the wire looked phenomenal there's nice. that video as well on our instagram profile so i'm like wow i didn't i wasn't even thinking about that, that so that's, like, that's very cool that's very cool so like i mentioned awesome. at the beginning of the program i've got one and to one lucky audience member you got to sign up for our newsletter and i'll randomly pick somebody and see this show will podcast this podcast will air on uh september 20th so uh i'll, I'll give seven days i'll pick an announcer on the next following monday who wins this untwist tool you guys sign up for the newsletter to get that boris i appreciate your time and i i, I know we're gonna hear more from you because you got I, I just see bright things in your future thanks sir thank you for having me thank you for being it. on the show Thank you. Until next time, everybody, be safe. That's it for this episode of today's podcast. We hope you were able to learn something. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Also, leave a rating so we can help even more people learn about telecommunications. Until next time, be safe.